Hello everyone, this is Mr. P. On today's lesson, this is lesson number three, we're going to take a look at how to write an opinion essay. This lesson, we're going to take a look at the concluding paragraph. So let's get started. First, let's take a look at the essay outline. We said that the essay is divided in three parts. The first paragraph is called the introductory paragraph, in which we have a hook, background information, and thesis statement, which is the most important part of an essay. The second paragraph is a body paragraph, or body paragraphs. Yes, there can be as many paragraphs as you want here. We have a topic sentence, detailed sentences, and the last one is called a conclusion sentence. Today we're going to take a look at the concluding paragraph, and that is, it reviews the thesis statement, reviews the topic sentences, and the final conclusion sentence, which can be a suggestion, opinion, or prediction. So thesis statement. What is a thesis statement? It is your main idea about the topic, adding one, two, three, or more reasons. It is made up of a topic, the general subject of the essay, the controlling idea, which is your opinion, belief, view, feeling about the topic, and subtopics, the areas you will focus on to support your idea. It will answer the question of the prompt given in just one sentence. Please avoid writing I believe, in my opinion, etc. So this is just an overview of the thesis statement. So now let's take a look at the concluding paragraph. First, let's take a look at our example, Technology and Global Warming. This is your title and should be at the top of your essay. The first paragraph, like I said, is the introductory paragraph in which we have the thesis statement, that is, your last sentence of your introductory paragraph. The second paragraph is your body. And the third paragraph is the concluding paragraph. And this is what we're talking about today. Don't forget to indent all paragraphs. What is a concluding paragraph? It is the last paragraph of your essay or any other college paper, summarizing its thesis and arguments and subtopics. It helps readers see why your essay should matter to them. Parts of a concluding paragraph. The first part, it reviews the thesis statement using different wording, so it paraphrases it. Number two, it reviews, summarizes the three, two, or one body paragraph topic sentences. And number three, it ends with a suggestion about what you think the reader should do, or you can give an opinion or a prediction. So let's review the thesis statement. Here we have our essay, and you can see in yellow we have the thesis statement at the top in the introductory paragraph. But although machinery was devised to benefit mankind, it had also brought along the destruction to our environment. As you can see, the first sentence of the concluding paragraph is, in conclusion, as technology has improved our lives in general, it has had a toll to our environment. As you can see, this has the same meaning of your thesis statement located in your introductory paragraph. Now, let's take a look at the second part. It reviews, summarizes the three, two or more body paragraph topic sentences. 
In our case, we have one topic sentence. And it reads, Technological equipment was never programmed to damage nature per se. So this is our topic sentence. The first sentence of your body paragraph. So in our conclusion, we can say something like, Possessing too many kinds of machinery, such as laptops and phones, or even consuming too much of their energy and battery, is beginning to get out of hand and needs to be controlled. So basically, I summarized the topic sentence and the body paragraph. So let's take a look at the third part then. It ends with a suggestion about what you think the reader should do, or you can give an opinion or a prediction. In our example, I chose to write a prediction. As you can see, is the last sentence of the concluding paragraph, and it reads, or else technology will take over our lives and destroy our planet. This is just a prediction, but I can give an opinion to, or a suggestion to the reader. So it's up to you. So now let's do some practice. Match each piece of statement, one to three, with a correct reinstatement, A to C. Please pause the video and I will give you the key when you're finished. So here we have your key. Number one is A. Relying on news from websites, TV and magazines helps balance your views. Is the same as saying getting the news directly from friends makes it difficult to find out about new ideas. Number two is matched with C. Many people argue that newspapers are the best way to learn about new government policies, current events, and experts' opinions. So when we rephrase, we need to keep the same meaning. And it's similar to saying, some people believe the best place to find a variety of information is in the newspaper. Number three then with B. The news programs people watch often reflect their views about their community, their country, and the people in general. So rephrasing that would be, many people choose to watch TV programs that support their opinions about the world. The next video will talk about transition words, and that's lesson number four. Well, I hope you enjoyed the lesson. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. If you like the lesson, hit on the like button, please. And if you would like to share the lesson, please do. Until next time, bye-bye.